Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is general and timeless, so if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com, and it has my email. And thank you for all of your love and all of your support. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe. Now we do have a few upcoming workshops. We're going to be in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the new moon in Pisces ceremony, March 10th. And we do have the Aphrodite temple as well coming this month and a few other offerings. So check out the box below or the website. All right, Pisces. And whoever's birthday it is today, happy birthday, Pisces. So if it's your birthday today, drop a comment below. Happy birthday. Let's see what we have for you today, Pisces. Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God. What do we have for Pisces today? We have the Web Weaver. Synchronicity. Divine Intelligence. Cause and Effect. Why do we have the Web Weaver? You are weaving your own reality here, Pisces. We do have optimism, and on the other side of it is aggression. Okay, and then total paradigm shift, 111 as soon as I say that, and I got a notification at the bottom of the, I almost said at the bottom of the deck, on the bottom of my phone. So for some of you, 111, there's a big paradigm shift coming in. I'm also hearing miracle consciousness. I'm gonna grab from this deck actually. With optimism and aggression, I'm getting like your choice. You know, what are you focusing on at this time? Especially with this Pisces season, the energy is so magical. You know, that is the Pisces energy. And so it's a beautiful, what I'm seeing Pisces is you doing this beautiful sacred dance, like through Pisces season, whatever you're watching this, it can be for you. Um, webbing and weaving, right? Your future, your fate. Um, have optimism at this time. You could also resonate with fire or maybe have fire in your chart, you know, or a fire spirit. I'm also hearing fire dancers. For some of you, there's definitely something about you. Um, I'm getting mindfulness or power of the mind. Your mind is creating such a shift for you here. Why do we have the, pow the fire prince and the web weaver? You have the world, all right? There's a brand new cycle coming in for you, Pisces. And again, this is coming from within. I do feel a paradigm shift for you. We have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So that's the heart space. Archangel Raphael can also resonate with you. I'm going to move this because that just doesn't work right there. <laughs> Why do we have the world card, optimism, aggression, with divine intelligence and cause and effect for Pisces? We have... Witch of Swords, so that is the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Four of Cups, Processing, and then Page of Swords over here. Why do we have the Queen of Swords for the Pisces energy? Yeah, why Four of Cups? I just want to see you shine because I know you are a star girl. Okay, some of you can also resonate with Orion or Sirius as far as the galaxies, the energy. I have the star card over four of cups, seven of cups over which of swords. Why the page of swords here? Also Pisces, with what you're focusing on right now, what's coming through is you don't even realize you're calling in someone, you know, or again, your energy, your focus, but it feels like energetically you are focused. There's an opportunity coming in for you. You don't see that someone, or maybe again, um, this could even be, you know, energetically that it's it's coming your way, or there's already someone that's ready to come forward with an opportunity for you. Why the Page of Swords? You have the Nine of Wands. Someone also sees your spirit. Someone sees your spirit, or it's like someone sees you, but not in like, they see your light. They see you. They see you as a bright and shining star here. Seven of Cups, Dream Time, Witch of Swords, that is the Queen of Swords. The sword energy also represents the mental, the mind. Seven of Cups, Dream Time, Pisces. You know, um, especially with Saturn and Pisces, you're not too delusional. You just need a grounded plan, okay? Uh, for some of you, I do see you thinking really big at this time. But not only thinking big, aligned with that big vision. The actions, rather, are aligned with that big vision. Four of Cups processing. You have the star card. 
for some of you it does feel like you're going through a cycle of healing or have been through a cycle of healing but there's someone that sees your light why do we have nine of wands and the page of swords three of cups you have unseen support that's coming in for you pisces okay bottom of the deck is knight of pentacles it may come in time however whatever it is that you're creating right now so for some of you just hold the vision hold the vision um there's a song by Jaden smith called icon and it says i need you to listen to the vision okay hold your vision because even if it's not now or tomorrow there's something it is that you are creating again in dream time and with aligned action that your commitment and devotion to that someone is going to see that or someone sees a fighting spirit in you and also your light by the three of cups support you have queen of cups you have the ten of cups for some of you and then you have the nine of swords over here there are two feminine energies here so it could be two feminines we have witch of cups with the ten of cups for feminine. oh you do have the lovers for some of you you can resonate as lgbtq we have ten of cups the lovers if this is not love this is a soulmate where both of you together are going to create your dream life together and it may just be a soulmate that romantic for some of you again try it even if it's a say a queen you could it could still represent a man rather we have the queen of cups with the ten of cups you are directly aligning yourself with someone that you're going to create your dream life together you have the lovers here why witch of cups with the ten of cups you have five of swords what is this five of swords you do have the three of wands it feels like what the what's blocking it right now five of swords from this is the three of wands some sort of distance why five of swords with three of wands yes distance um and i'm hearing time is of the essence okay distance or time it's like someone maybe really actually can't make their way towards you or this opportunity pisces at the moment there's something stopping you from traveling there from going there this could be energetic space as well but there's a knight of cups coming here what's this knight of cups you do have three of swords and you have the page of pentacles over here why the page of pentacles with the three of swords you have six of cups for some of you there is someone coming in from the past okay where yes magician all right be mindful of what you're focusing on right now be mindful of what you're focusing on because in the midst of beautiful things happening and beautiful energy you may also receive a message or some sort of like token from someone who broke your heart in the past why three of swords with six of cups why eight of wands two of wands initiation um yeah someone from the past may come forward why eight of wands with two of wands nine of pentacles someone actually may come forward who broke your heart with some appreciation okay actually pisces which you may or may not want to hear you know so that's up to you but there actually might be someone who comes forward with a gift for you um or again comes forward and sees you in this light why the two of wands with the nine of pentacles you have the seven of wands over here why the seven of wands for this person from the past you will have justice okay you will have justice from someone in the past that hurt you and sent uh you know and i want to reword how that was have sent you they didn't send you into any healing pisces you entered a healing cycle after them okay maybe for some of you though you felt that way it may have been really deep healing regarding this person okay um, but with the eight of wands two of wands and nine of pentacles your success right now is very protected what's coming through is this is someone that them coming back for you might be triggering that's what's coming through is it might be triggering them coming back which could throw you off balance a little bit okay don't don't come out of your balance because you have beautiful things over here pisces all right now what's the advice for pisces you have king of cups you also have the high priestess now that is your energy pisces pisces cancer scorpio high priestess nine of cups pisces i really feel like you're content with yourself you know again this is pisces season you're in your season where there actually may be things coming up you know because pisces is the 12th house um but you're really coming into your power here pisces high priestess king of cups 
with the masculine energy um, I do feel like it's balanced over here as far as you applying your intuition as well for some of you I'm also hearing animal divine you've been going through so much cellular and DNA activation as well and a lot of integration and embodiment of your higher self so Pisces, this season is a lot of your higher self, but being grounded and embodied, especially with that full moon in Virgo being that sister sign of yours. All right, why a king of cups with the high priestess? Ace of cups, love, okay, for some of you, there may be uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming your way, and maybe you even feel them, okay, with the high priestess card. If not, this is also you. Again, you had nine of coins, contentment. Now you have 10 of pentacles, one, four, four on the clock as I say that, okay? You motherfuckers. It says legacy. All right, you are creating a legacy for yourself, for your lineage, for the spiritual benefit of all beings, okay? We do have Venus going into Pisces, March 10th or 11. So a lot of water energy, a lot of Venusian energy. We have the Ace of Cups here for sure. And again, I did say Pisces, that's for some of you. Someone sees you, but they see your light, all right? And that's what the work it is that you're doing. So you're not even, you're not manifesting this person. This is you so focused on your vision and creating and this and that. And in the midst of that, honestly, someone sees you as a star because the song that, look, the Hierophant, okay? For some of you, some see you either in a high regard or on a pedestal or they see you as marriage material, okay? Um, but I just keep hearing, I just want to see you shine because I know you are a star girl, okay? Um, for others of you, this person may not be into spirituality as much as you and they almost they like see you as a hierophant or high priestess But it's also very passionate energy Like they love the fact that you lead yourself This person is so smitten by you that is coming in. Okay. Um, I do see someone from the past um, Use your discernment But this person that's coming in this new person with the ace of they got a whole lot of love and they are very emotionally available Pisces, okay? Um, they, they have so much respect for you, but they're also so attracted to your independence here. Like they see you, look at this high priestess, she's focused. And they like that. They almost like the fact that like you give, you pay them no mind. And not that you pay them no mind, but like just your work ethic, they love it, okay? King of Cups over here. All right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this resonates. I'm going to grab some cards of advice. The Sun card, okay? You have joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, and play. It does feel like it's such a play energy, especially when it comes to this manifestation. For some of you, I really do see you manifesting just as you go about your day. Again, if you are a dreamy Pisces, ground that into reality, you know, um, and focus on what it is that you do want to attract. Have a lot of optimism at this time, joy, enjoyment, um, and play, play, you know, um, honor your inner child, maybe even do things. Like for, I'll give you an example. As a child, I was a dancer. And so I, I actually want to go on stage and dance and things like that. And I have not since, I think it's been 20 years. And my, what a birthday gift for me was a hip hop adult dance class. So that's honoring my inner child. That's just an example, Pisces, okay? Like do something that your inner child would have loved to do and that also just moves your body um, or makes you feel good, okay? That is that Venusian, that Venus energy. What do we have for the Pisces? Believe in yourself, okay? Believe in yourself. And Nana can also resonate with you. Um, this is definitely a season, a time, Pisces, to believe in yourself, to believe that everything um, it is that you desire, your higher timeline is yours. You are just aligning to it. It feels like a lot of surrender as well. So this, it feels like a teeter-totter in Pisces season of a mixture of like you are actively doing things and manifesting, but you're also surrendering because you're not in any fear of it coming in for you, Pisces. Um, definitely feeling a lot of the energy uh, moving into the Astro New Year or Aries season. And we have expand your consciousness. So this could also be a season of awakening. Now, I did split the deck. We have opening heart connections and sacred purpose. 
In Pisces season, you may also come across people that are um, meant to be on your path and are very aligned with your purpose. What's a final message for Pisces? You have clairvoyance. Yeah, expect also third eye openings in this season. Portal, infinite mind, awakening consciousness. And that really is what it feels like, Pisces, is for some of you, again, maybe even when you're like dancing or uh, working out or this or that, or even at work, that ability to really access that dream state, um, use that to focus on what it is that you desire and want to attract into your life. With clairvoyance, you have inspiration, interpretation, you have trust as well. Trust that all is well. Believe in yourself that everything is coming in for you, Pisces. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.